notice when starting D72 it will prompt you with a start new session if you have that option configured in the configuration screen. A couple important points to make on this screen are going to be the login technician. This one will be able to send out emails to specific people when email alerts or other features using email are used throughout D72. If you have a situation where you're working with multiple other co-workers in the same building and each of you are doing a different system or set of systems, you can select your email so that you'll receive the email alerts where your co-workers won't receive those email alerts and you'll know when your systems are ready to be continued on. As you can see in D7X it's a little bit different. It's called the default email recipient or technician email and I just wanted to point out to you where you can configure this from D7X config go on over to the servers and email tab and on the first sub tab here we have an address book you'll actually just be able to add multiple addresses to this address book and those will appear in that drop down also important is where we enable the start session prompt tab on the session tab the first checkbox next important points are going to be our client name this is for tracking this system and this name will be saved in the registry so next time you start a session on D72 it will automatically appear here for you otherwise it is going to pull in the computer name and you'll also have a tracking number feature where you can enter in a tracking number usually this will relate back to a ticket or your PC repair tracker it will actually be your asset tag number and this will allow reports to upload and also will keep your reports uh, specifically for that ticket or tracking number. Lastly on our start a new session window we have our session startup options and here you'll want to click the checkbox if you need to enable auto login mode you'll be able to select the various users and the specific user you want to log into. Here you can uh, set the user's current password if you know it Otherwise, if you leave it blank, it will blank out the uh, existing password and remove it. And if you wanted to type in a new password, you could do that as well. Another important feature here is if you have a system that's on a domain and you need to log into that domain profile, you'll want to add the domain here, and this will allow it to log into the domain profile on that system. When you do this option though, you do want to make sure you have the correct password because D72 is not able to update the Active Directory password. So if you have the incorrect password in there, it is going to cause a login loop where basically it will try to log in with the wrong password, get an error, then try to log in with the wrong password until you put a stop to it there. Uh, last important note to make is about sessions in general. As you can remember from our tracking number, this is going to basically track and condense reports for one specific ticket or incident. And what you'll want to do is actually run your session throughout the entire time until you're done working on that system. Then once you're done working on the system, you'll actually go through and end the session. Otherwise, if D72 is shut down during a reboot or you need to close out a D72 throughout the process, you'll want to just exit out using the X button in the top right and make sure you select set, shut down. Basically what that will do is allow you to close out a D72 and continue working under that tracking or incident number and otherwise once you're completed and finished with the system ending the session will allow you to upload your reports and configurations and definition files and several other options that we'll go over here towards the end of this uh, video. So we're going to go ahead and save and continue here. You can notice when D72 is starting up with this one, it is uh, preventing shutdown and restarts, and you'll be alerted to that being enabled. You would be able to disable that option if you wanted to automatically reboot or restart, say if a program you're running required a restart. Uh, D72 will pick back up whenever you uh, shut down or restart, but there may be certain scenarios where you want to prevent that from happening, especially in remote support situations where it's needed to shut down or reboot through the tool or remote software itself 
um, this will allow you to stop or prevent that happening automatically so that you can go through the correct process to shut down the system and regain remote access to it.